I'm gonna get going. Don't want him finding out I've been skiving off work, but today wasn't half bad. He takes his duties as a knight pretty seriously, doesn't he? I guess he actually is a good person. If you could get past every... I must also take my leave. I do not wish to inconvenience the Rheindals. I will make certain that the statue is returned to them. Oh, yes! Thank you very much! She's gonna put it back herself? I hope she doesn't get caught. You know it all. In the short time we spent with those two, I feel like we got to know them a little better. Still, we haven't learned anything more about our gifts. And I was hoping to at least learn something about Aprilis. Yeah, none of us do. During that full moon Grimwald knocks, even Aprilis was distraught. I feel like there's a lot more coming that we won't be prepared for. All we can do is keep going and give it our all. Yeah. I know there's still more I can do. Oh, I should get back to the shop. I'll see you later, Adol. About what happened? What happened? You know what I'm talking about. I mean, how those thieves robbed the shops on Artisan Lane. Oh, you mean those thieves who were found locked up somehow? I heard that the Monstrums tricked him into a prison cell and then left him there. Really? Then that means they must have broken into the prison again. I wouldn't be surprised if they found their way into this tower one of these days. Speaking of surprises, isn't the Knight's facility... No, never mind. Hey, you can't follow something like that with a never mind. Let's just mind our own business and do our jobs. Come on, let's finish these rounds.
Oh, don't scare me like that. Sheesh, there's not usually people in here this late. Um, taking a nap, of course. Doesn't get much quieter than an empty church. Wait a sec, you're not... Don't take this the wrong way, but you don't belong here, do you? Not exactly what I meant. Well, I still haven't been able to find my bearings here in the special sector either. Hmm, where to start? They call it that because only felons who can afford the hefty fee can stay here. You can dress however you want, and go wherever you want. 
to an extent. And you can even go shopping in here. It's not all that different from the outside. Did you now? Supposedly, it was established when a Roman noble was held prisoner here. Not just nobles. But politicians, businessmen, anybody with a name or the right amount of cash gets to stay here. They say that some politicians use this place to hide from their little scandals. <laughs> Do I look like someone important to you? The name is Marius. I don't actually remember much about anything before I came here. Funny, right? Being punished for a crime you don't remember committing? So, how'd you end up in here? So, Adol's your name, huh? Being an adventurer must be an exciting job. But I can understand why you'd be wanted by the Roman military. That I am. But you don't have to worry about me ratting you out. Hmm. Let's say we work together to collect information. How about it at all? We've got a lot in common. Neither of us are supposed to be here. And you know what? I think we can be friends, too. Well... Great! It's settled, then. Okay, Adol. I can't wait to get started. Have you got some place to be? By the way, Adol, do you have an access pass? Ah, I figured you wouldn't. It's a pass that lets you come and leave the special sector whenever you want. You're usually supposed to get one with your admission fee. Things will be difficult for us as long as you don't have one. All right, I'll see if there's anything I can do about that. Thank you. Don't mention it, friend. Well, I guess I'll catch you later, at all. Oh, Krisha. I wish you were here to see his face. Rodario was in such a panic after realizing that Anamona had also gone missing. You two must have been so worried. They must have found out that Anamona wasn't in the shop. Don't be ridiculous. You were the one blundering about like the world's end was at our doorstep. That's right, I was. That's how any mother would react if her dear daughter went missing. <clears throat> In any case, when we returned to the shop, both Anamona and St. Rosvita's statue were here. It was as if they were never gone at all. The mysteries of the world never cease to amaze this old man. <laughs> really? Wow! <laughs> but I've already told you, Rodario. It was Anna Mona. She was the one who brought St. Rosvita's statue back to us. What makes you think that? I didn't want to tell Rodario because I thought it would worry him. But Anna Mona has been going on her little outings for some time now. Oh, not this nonsense again. A doll taking a stroll all on her own? This isn't a fairy tale. Then tell me, Rodario, who could have returned the statue? Well, you see, 
the culprits are in prison, so... Uh... <laughs> you can think what you want, dear. I know what really happened. Yeah. Excuse me? Um... I'm, um... Have you seen my sister? Wait, is that...? Elle? And Mark and Ood, too! Oh, I'm sorry, Adol. These are my younger siblings. Huh? Your siblings? I guess the cat's out of the bag. We'd like to thank you for always looking out for Yufa. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. My goodness. Aren't they the most precious things? You three know better than to come to the bar. What are you guys doing here? Is something the matter? Hey, we came all this way for you, you know. Here, this is yours. You forgot your apron at home. We thought you'd need it. Ah, oh, shoot. I do, don't I? <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to me. You're all so responsible now. Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. We just didn't want you to break your promise because you forgot this and had to stay late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Did you have something planned? She promised she'd take us to the Colosseum. <laughs> oh, I know, I know! Um, um... The Colosseum hosts all sorts of events, depending on the season. Was there an event that the children were particularly interested in? Well, right now it's... Hey, did you know? Yuba's boyfriend is there right now! Yufa! Ooh la la! Why is this the first time I'm hearing of this? B -b -b boyfriend <laughs> Getting some action, huh, Yufa? What are you teaching these poor kids? I'm not teaching them anything. I mean, he's... he's not my boyfriend. We've just been friends since we were kids. Hey, you three! No more joking around, okay? I was the one who said it. Yep, it was me. Ood, I know you were the one who told her in the first place. Ah, uh, how embarrassing. Anyway, he's a friend of mine who works at the Coliseum. He invited them to visit. 
How lovely! Your friend is very generous. Yes, he's really nice. We're looking forward to it. So make sure you aren't late, okay, Yufa? I know, I know. Thanks for bringing me my apron. Well, we don't want to get in the way of your work, so we'll go home. Aww, but I want to stay here with Yufa. Oh, maybe if we finish all our chores, we could go a little early. Really? Then let's hurry up and go home. <laughs> all right, you three. Be sure to come back soon, okay? Okay. Aren't they just the most darling little things? Yeah, they're adorable. Hmm. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Yufa, your parents. Yes. They both passed away during the war with the Roman Empire. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It happened eight years ago when the Roman Empire invaded Glia. My family lived on the outskirts of Balduk. We couldn't evacuate in time, and before we knew it, the war was right on our doorstep. Roman soldiers invaded our village. They would have killed us if our parents hadn't sacrificed themselves to save us. You've been through a lot, Yufa. But you know something? I've never met anyone as strong as you. Uh, what do you mean? Anybody can tell by looking at those children how well you've raised them. They're responsible, and they're compassionate. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Adol? Yeah! Oh, stop it, Adol. The war changed everything for us. But those three kept me going. I'll do whatever it takes to keep them safe, and to make sure they can lead happy, peaceful lives. And we'll always be here to support you. That means a lot, Shantae. All right, let's get to work. I'm ready and raring to go. Just leave it to me. Time to show off my skills. Let me know if you need anything, come back anytime. Have a look, see. Impressive is all. It's not much, but. Mm, have a moment. 